Game of Thrones, by the way, and if you don't watch, who the fuck are you? <laughs> uh, where have you been? Yeah, uh, what I are do, you doing with your life? I do think that um, we will have to do like a season recap. We will. I It'll was thinking happen. of doing a mid-season recap, but that's going to come up so quickly. I know, and not not prepared. Not prepared. Would also like the ability to rewatch episodes. Mm-hmm. In the lead up to doing a recap after the final episode. Wine. Isn't it delicious? This um, was... Oh, it's gone. Ugh. Shall I go get it? Yeah. This is Moscato by <laughs> Innocent Bystander. I really thought it said butt something. And I was like, Innocent? Innocent butt Butstander. And I can give you guys a tip top secret See, not, it's not going to be a secret for long. If you buy these stemless wine glasses from Ikea, one we're bottle... Classy. Yeah, we're classy. Um, one bottle will fit in two glasses. Yeah, it's a good thing to do. I like it. These, these are good glasses. I love these glasses. They're right. fantastic. For today's mm. episode of Wine Time, we're filming two. We film two at a time. We do. The next one is going to be fun. It's going to mm. be talking about interesting comments yeah annoying comments yeah. sassy comments not, some funny comments yeah not really like replying to comments no. just like discussing comments yeah. yeah so we're gonna do that um but before we get there mm. um we're going to talk about cosmetic procedures mm. now this is interesting because Haley's just had her ears pinned back which is mm-hmm. probably the biggest co- cosmetic procedure you've had yes um and also we're now in our 30s and I don't know if it's due to things like YouTube or due to us getting a bit older, but we've ha- we've tried a couple of things over the past couple of years. So yeah. we're going to talk, well, probably in the last year, we're going to talk a bit about it. Um, I thought what we would do is start by saying what procedures we've had. Yes. Because I feel like... Um, there's a lot of stigma with cosmetic procedures, and mm. I think... My idea of cosmetic procedures is actually wider than other people's ideas. Yeah. So, do you want to start? All right. So, I have had my ears pinned back yep. in the last, just over a week ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, I have had Botox mm-hmm. uh, or Dysport, which is in Similar. the same family. Um, I have also, or I'm currently in the process of having my teeth straightened, which is technically yep. a cosmetic procedure. Yep. And I think that's everything. Yeah. I think so. So I also agree that teeth things are cosmetic procedures. Mm -hmm. I had braces um, as an adult. So I had it when I was probably about 25, Mm -hmm. I think, 24, 25. Um, And I do consider that a cosmetic procedure because I've also had Dysport, which is a muscle relaxant. So it's like Botox, but a different brand. Um, And we both have had that twice. Mm -hmm. Now we had it about October, November last year, and then again in maybe early April. Yes. So we kind of are trying to get it every, say, six months, and it's mainly just frown lines, frown lines and forehead. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I'm getting the forehead is because when I I'm real, have really expressive eyebrows. So do I. And when I oh. raise my eyebrows, it's like... I've got Sharpe, Sharpe forehead. Yeah. And actually mine... On my forehead is wearing off, yeah, so you, can, wear off, you yeah. can quite you can see, and it gets much much worse. Yeah, so. mine's like ten times worse yeah. naturally. Um, but I've always made sure that um, I try to get as minimal as possible, so I can still mm. raise my eyebrows. Anyway, so I've had that um, this year. I've had my moles, some of them, three of them, lasered down, mm. so they're not gone. And uh, I color this one in because it's like patchy now, but it's still there it's just flatter Mm -hmm. um so i had that this year i've been wanting to do that for a while but um it was more to do with when i originally looked years ago the option was cutting them out and leaving the scars there wasn't the laser procedure um and also i've had more time because i'm not 
working in an office full time. Yeah. But I would also say that getting tattoos are cosmetic procedures. Oh yeah. And yeah, that's another good yeah, one. Yeah. And piercings. Piercings, yeah. And mm. I reckon tattoos are way more invasive than pretend even the mole removals. Yeah. Even the you know getting Botox is nothing compared to getting oh, a tattoo. No way. How about we start? Yeah. By, like, we'll categorize them. Let's yep. talk about having our teeth done. Because yep. that's probably, like, that's something that most, people, most have people have had done. But And that's the thing, though. Like, there's a big stigma with cosmetic procedures, and I totally get it. And I, I am in two minds about cosmetic procedures. So but people mm. always, like, whenever we say that we've had Botox, the response is, have you? Mm. Really? It is. It's really? Like, it's like, I couldn't tell. But it, Show me. But it's all, and I'm like... But, but I find from people that are interested, they go, show me, where'd you get it done? Yeah. Da, 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 da. People who are judgmental are like, why? Why did you get that done? Or they you get don't really need shocked. that. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is that I see like dentistry way more costly, way more invasive, way more um, ch- like changing to your appearance yeah. than Botox ever is. Yeah. And... But people don't dispute that. They're like, why yeah. haven't you had your teeth straightened? So yeah, I, I know. I find actually, that the contrast is really that's ab- funny. absurd. The amount of comments we get on yeah. the beauty news channel about me and my teeth, like, fix your fucking teeth, yeah. you ugly cunt. Like, it's just, it's really, like, it's, it's amazing how people will insult you because you haven't straightened your teeth, but then they will also throw an insult your way when they know you've had Botox. Yeah. And I think for a lot of people, like most people who leave shitty comments like that, I think they're just cunts anyway. Like yeah. they're just coming from a shit place. Yeah. Um, and they probably couldn't say a nice thing about you if they, you know, had to save their life. Um, but I feel like, cosmetic dentistry there's a lot that goes into it yeah um it's often quite painful and it's a very long process and it's insanely expensive yeah. insanely expensive Absolutely. and i find that that is definitely way more invasive than a couple of quick pricks of a needle Fuck in my yeah. face Absolutely. and i would i would happily go to Jane and lay back and have a little giggle yeah. and a laugh while she pop, 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 then go to my dentist and be like, oh, let's fucking, you know, fit some new trays. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Yeah. So, yeah. That, yeah. And that's the thing I find bizarre is mm. that dentistry is so invasive. It's so uh, life-changing yeah. and so costly. But if you haven't had it done... You're a poor bitch who, yeah. who doesn't care about their appearance. Exactly, it's and people will up. shame you for it. Yeah, I have I've physically been shamed like to my face as well about my teeth. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up though because mm. I find this is an interesting topic, and I'm, I'm curious to see if you're in the same page as me. I um got braces. I paid for them myself uh, when I was yeah, like I said, 25, I think 24, 25. Yeah. And I didn't actually start YouTube until I had my braces because mm. I was really self-conscious yeah. about my teeth. Mm. And, you know, everyone's like, why didn't you get them when you were a teenager? And for me, there were two reasons. One, um, my sister and I both needed braces and my family weren't financially stable enough to get us both braces and they wouldn't get one and not the other yeah you can't do that that's that's, fucking unfair but also we both have really short jaws so when we went to the orthodontist they were like okay you also need jaw surgery which is going to cost you it was something like and this is mind you this is like in the maybe early 2000s late 90s time um it was i think it was around seventeen thousand dollars each and I remember that we, my parents could not afford it. So yeah. we just, it was just you like, just, sorry, put up no. a wall, fuck right off. Yeah. And so when I looked back into it as an adult, I remember I went to a place and they said, yeah, you do have a like an overbite. Um, does that bother you? And I said, no. But I was told that I have to, it's like all or nothing. And they yeah. said, no, no, no. If you just want your teeth straightened, we can do that. Yeah. And so I paid for it myself and... Um, it was probably the start of me realizing that there are you can do small things to fix your confidence. Yes. And it makes a huge impact 
but I understand why people don't get it when they're younger. But the social stigma of not having it is really unfair. Yeah. It, oh, it's it's like funny. Damned if, you do, damned if you don't. Absolutely. And damned if you do, damned if you don't. When I was young and when braces were brought up as an option to my parents because I had crooked teeth, uh, my mum, you know, she's always been very respectful of what I want to do with my body. And she asked me, do you want to get braces to make your teeth straight? And I said, no. And I said, no, because when I was in primary school, if you had braces, you were, you were fucking ridiculed daily. Yeah. And I was not going to put up with that. People didn't ridicule me for my crooked teeth in primary school, mm. but they ridiculed the kids who had glasses yeah. or braces because... That's the kind of cunty children that they were. And yeah. kids are like that. Yeah. They are brutal as fuck. So I didn't want them. And then when I got older and I was more aware of how my teeth made me feel, confidence-wise, um, and I discovered that braces were no longer necessary, Invisalign was a thing. Um, I did go and see someone about getting Invisalign and she told me, no, your teeth are too crooked and mm -hmm. too crowded and you're not... A good candidate for it a few years later i see another dentist and i'm like i i want to straighten my teeth somehow and he's like well let's do invisalign yeah i'm like yeah but i that they said i can't have it and he's like yeah technology changes it that's has. A thing. it's changed and they improve with um their techniques yeah. and but i just think it's so unfair that there's an industry like there's it, it's like you either don't care about your looks or you care too much about your yep. looks and you're too vain and let's shame you both ways. Yes. I think it's yes. really fucking unfair. Yes. And um, so my, yeah, my first thing was definitely getting braces and I mainly got that when I'd finished uh, law school and I thought um, I'm going to get into an industry and people are going to judge me in interviews on, on my appearance yep. and I don't want to look like um, – I am not professional yeah. like, as it is. Or I'm coming like you from don't a, care or yeah, something like I, that. Yeah, but as yeah. it is, like I'm coming from a lower socioeconomic background yeah. and it's harder to break into jobs from that background. Yeah. I don't want them to physically see that on me every yes. day. So yes. I struggled and I was living at home and I was paying it off in installments. And, and crooked teeth, like typically crooked teeth in a child, you do look at them and think, well, perhaps what the parents they, yeah. can't afford it. So I feel like often that is a symbol of how much money you had yeah. when you were growing up, it essentially. Is. Do you know what, though? And this is, I just, okay, I used to work in a hospital as well. Mm -hmm. And I remember nurses saying, because I was working in a private hospital, and I remember nurses talking about other hospitals they worked in and how it's funny how different areas have different, types of patients yes and i remember someone saying something about a lower socioeconomic area and then making some snide joke about how everyone every patient you see has shit teeth and i was like you're an asshole you're yeah. a, you have no fucking clue you entitled yeah. cow so yeah. um yeah so anyway i definitely consider that as cosmetic cosmetic procedure, procedure. 100%. so do i 100 percent and honestly, like, if you are a young person watching this, shame on you. You shouldn't be watching this. This is for grown-ups. <laughs> um, but if you are a young person watching this and you have been given the opportunity to get braces or some sort of teeth straightening thing yeah. um, and you're like, no, I don't want to because it's embarrassing, I would actually recommend that you do do it because yeah. it is fantastic uh, for your self-esteem. Yeah. And uh, you will, you'll be happy yeah. Straight teeth are lovely, and yeah. I get to watch mine slowly straighten over time, and it's fantastic. So yeah. I do think if you are in a position where you can afford to have um, like cosmetic dental work, whether it be teeth straightening or crowns or whatever you need to mm -hmm. fix your smile and give you more confidence, I think it's definitely a way to go, and um, People won't shame you for it. They'll shame no. you for not doing yeah, it, basically, which yeah. is disgusting. Yeah. But it is the way of the world, Yeah. apparently. Um, but, yeah, I think cosmetic dentistry is... It's the most socially accepted one. And Absolutely. And I, for, yeah, for, for a, a reason. reason. Yeah. yeah. All right. Shall we talk about 
Botox. Yes, because yeah. this is the most controversial one. Like yeah, it talking is. about getting mole, moles removed and talking about getting ears pinned for some reason isn't as controversial as Botox. No. Yet once again, it is the other two mm. are procedures. Yes. Like you had to get a general anesthetic, I, I had I to get under. local anesthetics. Yep. You've got over a week of healing time, yep. week to two weeks of healing time. So it, but it's funny that whenever you say Botox or fillers, yeah. people are just like, nah, 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 yeah. nah, nah. now I do want to point out that we haven't had fillers and they no. are very different things. And yes. a lot of people don't know the differences. Mm. So Botox or Disport or a muscle relaxant type yes. um, injection is they inject it into the muscle and it, stops your muscle being able to contract yes so we've had in our forehead so i can't really frown like it's wearing off a little bit yeah. so you can see it a little bit can't but frown it, it like <laughs> yeah it literally disables those muscles it does now the benefit of that is is that the more you move the more kind of lines and stuff you get Ooh. which is so it's beneficial if you wanted it in anti-aging uh, i wouldn't look at any of this stuff unless you're like well into your late 20s early 30s yeah um, but if you want to prevent aging it's probably a good time to look at it yeah um but also for me um i we both have that really hyper exaggerate- expressive yeah yeah and i find that really hard to watch in photos and videos and that kind of stuff so it this is definitely we're now sort of in an industry where we have to see ourselves on camera yeah. a lot and in a normal i think if i was just working an office job I wouldn't even think about it. But because I have to edit and see myself a lot, and if you take a selfie and you raise your eyebrow and then you're like, oh, my God, I look like a Sharpay. Yeah. (laughs) You know, it's something that – it's something that is – it's easily fixed. Yeah. And um, I don't see – if that's your issue, Mm. I I don't see that there should be a social stigma in trying to – fix that and prevent that yeah um i do we did do a vlog about getting we botox did, yes. so we haven't been like secretive about this whatsoever no no, no. you're doing vlogs about your ears yeah i did a vlog about my mole removal they'll none all of be, this is secretive yeah, they'll all be linked down below if yeah. you want to watch them too yeah and i did a video about my tattoos like yeah we're, we're pretty fucking open about this yeah um but there's a huge difference between botox and fillers yes now, my opinion on Botox is go for it, especially if you have a high, like if you're hyper expressive like we are. Um, I'm a huge frowner and yeah. I had like really deep 11s yeah. and they like, it got to the point where even when I wasn't frowning, they were there. Um, and I, you know, got the Botox. They literally went away after a Within few a days. days. And it, to me, it was a miracle because I also found that after the Botox had worn off and I'd be like, oh, I, I can frown. You're not did, used to frowning. I didn't, I didn't feel like frowning. Yeah. And I didn't frown as much as I used to. So mm-hmm. not only does it completely relax the muscle, so any creases that have formed in the muscle over time, um, they relax and they go away so it's completely smooth. Mm-hmm. But also your brain is and your muscle, because you've got like muscle memory, they're being retrained not to do that bad habit that yeah, creates correct. the lines. So I'm like, I will always have Botox. Yeah. I'll and always. I'm the same. I, like, yeah. They say that it wears off within three months. So you're supposed to get it every three months. Yeah. I don't have the money for that. Yeah. So every six months will do yeah. for me. And some people don't um, like, they don't metabolize, they don't metabolize it, it as quick. So, I sadly do. <laughs> yeah. I do too. I'm hyper expressive. Poor me. Um, but I do want to say though, that I like, I've used a lot of things like eye creams and serums and it, it, hundreds and hundreds of dollars of skincare and they, seen no difference. They don't compare. Whereas you then put that money into a couple of in, injections and you're like, holy yes. fuck, that's made a massive difference. Yeah. So I will, once again, continue to get it. I will try to like spread it out as far as possible because it's yes. not cheap. Um, but I think it's... I think it's crazy good. And I think more people need to stop shaming it. I'm not saying, like I said, not you're in your yet. early 20s or late like teens, you do not need it. No. Do not get it. But you don't need it because no. your body creates basically... The collagen. A, a, and- exactly. Your body creates things that prevent you from developing those lines. So until you reach a certain age, which is late 
20s to like early mid 30s your body doesn't need it you physically don't need it so one why waste your money on it because it's not going to do you any good yeah um and two fucking put that money in a little fund for when you really do need it it's very true but also i think um what a lot of people need to realize as well is that a lot of people go overboard. Oh, um, I, yes, I I am and, glad we're talking yeah, about and this. And those people tend to look like just shiny, mm. smooth surfaces. It does. Um, we luckily found someone who is really good, yep. listens to what you want, and tries yep. to do like the least amount yes. to... Like, like enough to get the results, but not to overdo it. Yes. And she will always say, come back and do a little bit more if you want to. Yeah. I don't want to paralyze your face. Yes. And I really appreciate that because no one ever has stopped me and said, what have you done to your face? Oh, yes. Yeah. No one's ever said anything. No. I literally have to say, hey. Do you know I had Botox? Yeah. And they're like, oh, you look more relaxed. I thought thought there was something something going on. But I couldn't pinpoint what it was. Yeah. And so no one has ever stopped me and said, You've had Botox. You've had Botox. What did you do to your face? No one's ever said that. The first time I had Botox, I sat in the chair and I showed her, like, I expressed as much as I could. And she could see, like I, I was getting lines yeah. that were right up in my hairline. So we, I had quite a bit and we did discover that there were certain areas of my face that don't need to be relaxed if other areas are relaxed. So the next time we went in, mm-hmm. I did a little bit less. Um, and you can get that sort of weird shininess and also like lose mobility. Mm-hmm. So you do need to work with someone who understands facial structure and also like the first time you get it done there might be a little bit like you might get it just in the wrong spot however the good thing about botox is it doesn't last yeah it does wear off so for me like i had too much near my brows and around my eyes and i was just like (laughs) yeah can't raise my yeah. eyebrows. Yeah. Whenever I wanted to be shocked, I had to do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you live and but learn. You do, you yeah. do. You live and learn. And even though I was like, Jane, too much, let's go less, it wasn't a bad experience. Yeah. And there was I was always happy that it was gonna be okay because it's not it's not plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. It's I'm not stuck like this forever. Yeah. But, However, let's ding, ding. I need some more wine, oh, Haley. Do you um, want I'll grab the. We'll just use some rose, I guess. You will, I will smell it first. Yeah, smell it first. Is it gone like vinegary? <coughs> I don't know if that's it normally. I don't know. Do you want to try it? I don't know if it's it normally. It just smell like flowers. <laughs> that's why that's I was sulfur. Usually I smell for vinegar, but it smells farty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the vineyard, the vintage apple tree fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I think it tastes fine. It just tastes like alcohol. It tastes like boring alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I might open the red. You put that one away. Yeah, our oh, Mexican yeah. friend. Let's get into our Mexican Take buddy. it to the grave. I need yes. to take this to the grave. Um, so where were we? Okay, so one thing that does last a lot longer than Botox is fillers yes now fillers are at the moment all the rage you mm. see the people with the the sausage lips oh. i'm sorry look i don't have an issue with fillers and i've actually been recommended fillers by jane and i trust jane she's our girl and i i just i i feel like i've been scarred mentally yeah. by some of the photos that I've seen online. And this is not like fillers gone bad. This is the social media this influencers is social me- that and think like, they look great and they actually that look I, Yeah, warped. some people that I watch in YouTube videos and I'm like, this is not a, a, a person. This is two sausages. Well, they're, not even so- they're uncooked sausages. They are. They're just no, like no. that veiny, Do you have bloody sausages? shiny. No, you guys don't. I feel like I need no. to get sausages yeah, and like stick them to my face. But it's disgusting. And... 
Okay, so fillers a lot more expensive and they yes. last a lot longer. So you're mm. looking at more like a year and a half to two years yeah. unless you dissolve them. Yeah. Now, they're probably around, oh, I'm going to say four times more expensive than Botox. And very, very Instead expensive. of being something that sort of relaxes your muscles and stops your muscles from contracting, it actually deposits a fluid yep. in your face to plump up certain areas. Yep. Um, and you see the people with them in their lips. You see the people with them in their like cheeks a lot. Yep. Um, people use them under their under eyes. Their eyes. Um, yep. And I get why people are doing it, but a lot of people are overdoing it. And I that really puts me off. And for me, I want to do things that preserve yes. um, myself. Like we got checked for ID today at the bottle shop. Ooh. And we were just like, yes, Please. So, you know, we want to preserve yeah. our looks, not distort them. And yeah. I think that's the biggest issue. A lot of people, especially social influencers in the early 20s, are literally distorting the way they look. And yeah. they are going to A, regret it. Yeah. B, when those things wear off, you're going to have some ma- like massive deflated skin and but that's lips. That's what I want to know. Like, what happens to the lips after? Like, and I'm not talking about someone who's just plumped up their lips a, little, a little bit. bit yeah. I'm talking about people who literally look like, like, what? Oh, shit. Look, Did I get lipstick on my chin? No, you didn't. Good. <laughs> but, but mark my word, though, in the next five, ten years, there's going to be a new procedure correcting... Like, you know, when people, overstretched lips. You know, people getting yeah. overstretched ears yeah. and then they had to like cut the skin and it's going to be procedures to correct overstretched lips. hundred percent, hundred percent will be surprised because be surprised. people are abusing it and it looks horrible. Uh, Isn't people, it? it? Oh, oh it kind so of, bad. yeah. I just, to me, it looks so unnatural yep. and like, I just, I kind of find it like really off putting. Yeah. Like. It's like finding a hair in your food or something. Yeah, like, I agree. Ooh. But I, like, I've thought about it and um, the reason why I thought about it is I can understand why people get it if they've got like a really thin top lip and they yeah. want to even it out. Yeah, I've got well, a, like a like like a flat part of my lip and then a curved part that's and my, I correct yeah. it with lip liner. Yeah. But, you know, you can fix it with a little bit of filler. And, mm. you know, if I had a spare thousand dollars, I'd be like, Let's, Let's do look it. into it. Yeah, so I think for corrective reasons, it's fine. Yeah. But that's not what's in fashion. And I think um, I think it's very important. And this is what I, like, I'm on the fence about cosmetic procedures. I've had a couple mm. and I'm happy with everything I've had. Yes. But I do believe that it, you need to really sort of give yourself time to figure out who you are, what you like about yourself. Yeah. And in your late 20s, early 30s, when you've been an adult, you've figured out what you do and don't like, you've accepted yourself for who you are. If you have little niggly things that are annoying you, then definitely go for it. Go fix Fucking them. There's spend no that point. money. There's yeah. no point spending time being like, fuck, you know, I really hate this part about me and it's really inconvenient and I can't wear my hair up because I don't like yeah. my ears. Yeah. Um, like, just get it done. But yeah. all these people that are changing their appearances in their early 20s, not only are they going to have a lot of problems down the I, track, yeah. but they don't, they haven't figured out what's right for them yet. They you have, haven't even learned who you are in your exactly 20s. Exactly right. And people I always, in their 20s will say, I know who I am. But right. also, if you ask a kid who's six, what do you want for dinner? They're going to say lollies. <laughs> and that doesn't mean it's right, but it's what they want. Exactly. Same as people in their 20s. You can say, I want Botox. I want this. I want that. Yeah. I want big lips. Yeah, but you don't, that's not, that might not be right for you yeah. in the long run. Something I have always said is life gets better after 30. Mm-hmm. And I think what happens is, I don't know what it is. It's literally That's like a, a fucking strong wine. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally like, do you want something else? No, or, I'll no? Keep, I'll just, yeah, keep going on that. I want, I, say, I, want, I want you to try something. I will have a little bit. Um, I feel like it's like a, a switch is like turned on mm-hmm. and you, you become more relaxed about who you are. You accept yourself for who you are. You love yourself. And you kind of give less of a fuck about what other people think. And yeah. you can very easily go, well, my time is valuable. I am valuable. I'm going to keep the people close who love me and fuck off everyone else. Mm-hmm. And that's when you can really look at yourself and go, you know what? 
my ears have been seriously like they still fucking piss me off yeah if i can get over the nose that i broke when i was in primary school and i can you know deal with fucking my big five forehead yeah (laughs) yeah like if there are things that i can get over and not worry about but i'm still like my ears they piss me off i want to wear my hair up with confidence that's when you go and spend that money. Yeah. That's when you get it done. But if you were, say, 10 years younger and someone said free range, use some money and um, do some cosmetic procedures, no doubt you would have done the fillers and the nose job and everything. Yeah. And then you would lose who, who you, you are. are. And exactly. these things down the track, don't like they don't really end up annoying you that no. much. And if they do, like, okay, they're the ones you pick yeah. out to fix. I and, would say yeah. if you are young and you do have ears that stick out, and I know, like my gp asked me this and my surgeon asked me this were you bullied over your ears because they said it is extremely common yeah. for children to be bullied over but they get ears bullied that over stick everything. Out. they do but if you have children who are being bullied over that and you can afford to get them cosmetic surgery i like i would support that because i feel like there are certain things like teeth in the long run I, I, I actually disagree with that, though, you, only yeah. because, like we were saying before, there's a, such a so, social stigma with not having your teeth fixed. Mm. It's almost like you're the poor kid. Um, yeah, they that's might true. not hire you for a job. That Nurses is very laugh true. about you. Yeah, that's a bit that's fucked. That's fucked. No one laughs about you as an adult because of your ears. It's one no, of those things true. that kids laugh about. Yeah, and that's if it's something true. that stays with you down the track, Earn the money, save up, figure out, do you want to get your ears fixed or do you want that new car? Yeah. Up to you. Yeah. But I don't think people should jump on the let's fix everything as when they're kids because it A, makes them think that they they can just get anything like that and fix anything like that, which is not true. They don't save up for it. They don't actually put in the the time and effort to be like, I have earned this and I want this. Yeah. And also... Down the track, ears might not have bothered them. And actually, that I, as soon as you said that, I was like, yes, I've actually read in my research, trying to find a surgeon, I actually read about a few people who were like, I got my ears done yeah. when I was young and they never bothered me, even when kids teased me about it. And like, I yeah. feel like now I would be okay with my ears, yeah. even if they were sticking out. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I very say, valid point. I think very the only point. thing that you should definitely jump on is getting your teeth fixed because yeah. of the social stigma. But everything else, let yourself grow into your body. Yeah, and figure out. Like when I was younger, mm. I had like because I had a bit of a growth spurt and I am pretty tall. Um, I was so overly paranoid about the few stretch marks I had around my hips, mm. and I was like, I don't want to go to pools. I don't want boys to see me. I don't want to do this. And now oh, I'm like, oh, gonna take yeah. that to the grave. Yeah. Yeah, that's a strong one, isn't it? Yeah. But right now, I'm like, good luck. If you can get past the hairy legs, I'm lucky to get <laughs> to the stretch marks. I know. So it, things, you, you grow into things and stop caring so yeah, much about do. things. Yeah, you do. You really do. But the one thing that people look at and judge you on is your teeth. teeth. So that's the one thing I reckon you should do as a young person. Yeah. Everything else can wait. Yeah. Everything else is just superficial. And it is. Yeah, is, and, I and agree. I, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I know someone as well that got that she actually got a personal loan when she was probably around, I'm going to say 20, Mm. to get breast implants to um, to boost her confidence. Yeah. What ended up happening was that she ended up becoming so self conscious because everyone everyone would just look at her tits. Yeah. She would walk out and she'd have people not even. Like, looking at her face, just looking straight at her tits. And she used to cover up everything. This is coming from someone who's a size 8 with double Ds. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. if I talk to men, they don't look at my face. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about my teeth or my ears. Yeah, they haven't seen them. They're just they, looking at your boobs. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, I think these things that you change when you're really young can have, like, negative impacts yeah. down the track or even yeah. instantly, like these breast implants. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, I, I de- yeah. The one thing I reckon you should get breast related when you're younger, breast reduction if you've got massive boobs. Absolutely. That causes a lot of health issues. Heavy titties yeah. are actually quite painful. Yeah. I think, um, I think maybe you kind of, 
Like when I was young, I was like, I want to get my ears pinned back. I hate my ears. I wasn't bullied over them like a lot. Occasionally people would bring it up, but it was something that I noticed first and it was something that bothered me and it never stopped bothering me. And I always wanted them pinned back even when I was in early high school. And it wasn't until now that I've been able to afford to do it. And the desire never went away. Yeah. And I'm kind of glad that it wasn't something that I just rushed into doing. Mm -hmm. Because in the journey, I've learned so much about myself. I've learned to respect myself mm -hmm. regardless of how I look. And when I finally did have those bandages taken off and I looked at my ears, I was just like the, the floodgate yeah. of tears and like, appreciation yeah for the exactly change right. so i feel like if you think you want to have something done because you're not happy with whatever's going on sit on it for at least a year or at five years. five yeah it depends like, how old you are yeah i mean it's yeah. hard you can't like you can't tell people what to do mm -hmm. but you can give them advice like just Hold on to the idea for a while and see how your feelings change at the very least. Mm -hmm. Don't rush into it. And I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't take out a loan to get something done, but that's that's your personal opinion mm -hmm. or your personal choice. Mm -hmm. Something I would like to have done with fillers yeah. is actually get my lips mm -hmm. um, evened, out. evened out because I have asymmetrical lips mm -hmm. and... Um, it has been suggested that potentially we could fix that with fillers. However, I hear that they're really fucking painful and yeah. I'm kind of not down for that. Yeah. I have a high pain tolerance, but I know that if I get like a little blackhead or something yeah, on my lip, oh, <laughs> yeah. that is that like, really that is like one of the nine circles of hell right there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but yeah, don't, don't go overboard with the fillers because yeah. sausage lips are not attractive. They're going to be out of fashion and you'll be stuck with them. Oh, oh spaghetti. Oh. The times are changing, folks. Yeah, they the are Times indeed. are changing. So if you want to see any of our journeys, not really journeys, but at, our, uh, our, things, our experiences, they're linked down below. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think we, we, like, we're, we've always been really upfront with what we've Absolutely. done. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you would, you would have fillers in your lips. I don't even yeah. know what I'd have. That's a thing like... If we're going to talk about things that we would have in the future, yeah. if I ever have kids, I would oh, yeah. probably have my boobs done after, after I'm I've done kids. having kids. Yeah, cause I'm the same. Because I've got, like, they're big and they get... <laughs> yeah, I agree. They get a little unhappy. Um, I agree. And, I mean, if I had the money to throw around, I might get my nose fixed because it did get broken when i was younger but it doesn't bother me enough mm. and that that's only if it was literally like scrooge mcduck swimming in his fucking money mm. like yeah yeah that's probably that's about it for me yeah i agree with you with um breast stuff done after yeah. you've had kids i'd look into that yeah but i don't know i think not really right. anything else your nose is cute <laughs> i wish i could do that oh yes the um i can't do it what was her name samantha yeah oh, yeah that yeah. yeah all right guys thanks so much for watching we hope you enjoyed this yeah. episode of wine time if you've had any experiences and all that kind of stuff oh, yes. if you want to share them feel free mm -hmm. um this is a very controversial topic yeah don't yell at us yeah it's just our opinion it's okay um but yeah we just wanted to discuss it because some of these things are a bit taboo yeah and a lot of people don't talk about them mm. um but yeah we we have been talking about it and we thought we'll just wrap it up in a nice little package mm -hmm. and that's about it thanks for watching guys bye bye